coverage you can count on continues with all you need to know. Well, for the first time in nearly a year, Indiana's COVID-19 hospitalizations have topped 3,000 people. That's according to tracking by the Indiana State Department of Health. Hospitalizations in Indiana are up about 150% in the past five weeks. Health officials say this is the most patients since just before Christmas Day last year. Starting today, you can get tested for COVID-19 at the Wabash Valley Fairgrounds. The testing site will be open from 8 until 4, Mondays through Fridays. The clinic is offering the PCR test with next day results. The clinic is expected to be open for several months. You can find more opportunities for testing and vaccine clinics on our website, WTHITV.com. A candlelight vigil was held last night for victims of the deadly tornado swarm that struck six states on Friday. The search for survivors will resume this morning in Kentucky, where dozens of people remain unaccounted for. President Biden is expected to travel to the state today. He'll get a first-hand look at the destruction and meet with first responders. Maryland Community Church in Terre Haute is sending aid to Mayfield, Kentucky. It plans to load a semi-trailer full of supplies, and on top of that, members there hope to send two additional box trucks. For information on how you can donate, you can go to our website. That's WTHITV.com. Vigo County Commissioners have approved updates to the Animal Control Ordinance. The update impacts goats, chickens, sheep, and rabbits. Now, people who live in the county can have the animals on their properties, even if that property is zoned residential. The commissioners chose to update the ordinance after people in rural communities were being cited for having chickens and goats. Commissioner Brendan Kearns explains there are rules about how many animals can live on a property based on acreage. Also, animals cannot be a nuisance to neighbors. A new spay neuter program is coming to Crawford County, Illinois. It's called Pause for Prevention. The previous program closed up shop in recent years. Pause for Prevention will supply certificates to pet owners or to those who have found strays. Now, if you want to take advantage of this program, you'll have to make an appointment with a local vet. The certificates will be used to pay for the operations. Terre Haute City Street crews are in several areas this week and continuing their leaf pickup efforts. Now, you can see a list of those areas on your screen right now. Now, you'll need to rake your leaves to the tree row, not into the street. Once crews finish a, an initial pack pass through the city, they will make a second pass through areas with significant remaining leaves. And you can see when crews will be in your neighborhood on the city of Terre Haute's website. We're going to be in the 60s today. Temperatures mid 60s here in Terre Haute. Some areas even higher than that as we see warmer air move in alongside very strong winds this afternoon. Now early today, if you're outside, you might notice a few very isolated rain showers, maybe a few light sprinkles and a few light sprinkles aren't out of the question all day long, but we're gonna have to wait for later tonight for more substantial rain showers to return. Now our temperatures tonight, look at this right around 60. And again, this is December and it's not going to feel like it at least until tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow we're in the lower 60s. That's the high. It's going to happen early though. More widespread rain arrives. It's going to come in with some cooler air and it's still breezy, but the winds bringing in cooler air will return temperatures back down to normal levels in the 40s to the end of the weekend.